Aren't you going to watch the fight, Zila? He's defending his championship title. Ugh, nah, I'll pass. It's not like anyone else has a chance with him around. <laughs> You're right about that. I get it if you don't want to join in the fun. It's all the same after a while. Ah, what a rare moment of rest. Maybe I should find a spot to stretch my legs a bit, too. Zila and Oleg. I wonder what they're talking about. I'll go ask them. Hey, isn't that the trailblazer? It's been a while since I've seen you around. How you doing? Hey, how have your travels been? Thanks to you, things are pretty peaceful around here. The chief and I are getting restless. <laughs> Silly girl. Just a few days of hard-earned rest and you're already making it sound like jail time. Oh, you heard us. We were talking about my student, Luca. Oh, you probably haven't met him yet. In short, he's a top-tier fighter in the underworld. He was also doing work for Wildfire before, just not in this town. Oh, right. He hasn't seen Luca defend his championship title before, right? Zila, why don't you take our hero and swing by the Fight Club to show him the match? Uh... What? You don't want to? No, it's just... I'm worried Luca might do something stupid again. Uh, how old are you again? Oh, I remember now. Luca was defending his title once, and Zila was watching in the audience. The opponent for that fight was too weak. They went down with just a few punches. I don't know what got into Luca after that, but he said out loud that he wanted Zila to come up and fight him right there and then. Uh, why don't we stop there, Chief? I'd rather not relive the moment. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Anyway, that's what Luca's like. He forgets about himself once he's in the mood. But I trust Luca not to make the same mistake again. So, back to the original suggestion. Are you good to take him to the Fight Club, Zila? Ugh, fine. I'll take you there. That's more like it. The more friends, the merrier. I hope you can get along with my favorite student. Why does Luca always come sneaking back into town like this? I haven't seen him for a while. I hope he's grown up a bit since then. My friend! <laughs> That's it. I give up. <laughs> friends of the Under... I mean, I mean, friends of Bellabog! The champion of the 1,761st Fighting King Challenge, 30 tournaments, 28 victories, the bolder King of Fists, Luca! <sighs> Looks like it's over already. Hey, Zila! And, uh, you are? Oh, I forgot to introduce him. This is the Trailblazer. You must have heard of him before. Were you here just to see my fight? <laughs> I'm flattered. I just want a little fight in the cage. What you did was much bigger than that. We... Luca! 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 Ugh. The crowd never gets tired, do they? Do you want to head outside? It's a bit loud for talking in here. See you next time, everyone! There are sparks yet to fly! Ugh, finally. I think we lost them. Let's chat here. You're popular as ever, champion. Oh, are you still angry at me over that one time, Zila? I just got a bit carried away. 
Of course not. Two senior members of Wildfire duking it out in the Fight Club? That would be bad form. The mood was on fire that day, but the final match was over in just a few swings. Everyone wanted more. So in the heat of the moment, I just... Oh, come on. Don't hold that against me, Zila. I've always been impressed by you. I've wanted to spar with you for ages. Ugh, I don't fight for fun. Stop getting your hopes up. Anyway, now that you've dragged us out here, what did you want to talk about? Ah, oh, yes. So I'm trying to get a plan going. Yes, more accurately, my personal training plan. I want you to join me in witnessing the next steps in the development of Luca, the Boulder Town fighting champion. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Chief Oleg wanted us to come and cheer for you. He didn't say anything about becoming your sparring partners. <sighs> we haven't got the time. <laughs> you can't hide anything on that face of yours. Oleg already told me that things in the underworld are pretty peaceful now. And even Wildfire's running out of things to do. Besides, look at this guy. You want in, right? I knew it! Ugh, there's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, since he agreed, count me in too. Great, that's settled then. The training is on Sparog's turf. I heard about your achievements. You probably know that place like the back of your hand, right? Just let me know when you're ready and we can head over together. I have a bad feeling about this. Luca always does things on the spur of the moment. Uh, maybe he's on a victory high? Or maybe not. Either way, it's classic Luca. Still, when it comes to fighting on the front lines, you can put your life in his hands. There's a dozen of us in Wildfire who are still in his debt, not to mention ordinary underworlders. Ugh, that's a story for another day. I have no idea what he's up to this time. Ugh, we'll just have to wait and see. How about it? Are you ready to head out for the special training? That was fast. Let's do it. Keep up, Zila. Don't fall behind. I don't need you to remind me. Let's go. This is Svarog's turf. Where to now? Don't worry. Just follow me. We need to find a mechanic called Cassidy first. I've hit him up before. This way. Luca, you're finally here. I've been waiting for you for ages. Relax, bro. I'm a man of my word. I need to stress out. And these two are... <gasps> oh! Miss Sila! Oh. <clears throat> to, to think that two senior Wildfire members are uh, concerned with my trivial problems. They just came along to help. Don't mind them. Just tell us exactly what happened. Came along to help, huh? Okay, this may sound strange, but I'm an amateur mechanic. I, I like collecting scrap in my free time, doing odd jobs, like putting robots together, that sort of thing. B but a few days ago, two of my robots suddenly disappeared. They were my pride and joy. I, I usually leave them in the tent when I head out. E everyone in the settlement knows each other. This has never happened before. S someone must have set their sights on my robots and stolen them while I was gone. I, I just don't know how they managed it. Did they change the programming? Oh, but that's not possible. Hey, stop kidding around. Can't you tell I have a serious problem on my hands? I see. Two robots. Do you have any clues? Any reasonable guesses? We need to have an opening to start the investigation. Not really. But here's the most mysterious part of all this. One of the machines they stole was a drone. I call it Little Faye. Little Faye has an alarm that 
buzzes non-stop as soon as any unauthorized people get close. It's guaranteed to wake up the entire settlement. But I didn't hear Little Faye's alarm at all. I still can't figure out how that happened. No way. Little Faye was ship -shape, not a hitch nor glitch in sight. <sighs> a drone that was supposed to sound an alarm suddenly went silent. Worth remembering. Anything else? Let me think. Oh, there is one other thing, but I don't know if it's useful. Uh, Little Faye also has a tracker. If it gets too far from Big Ben... Oh, uh, Big Ben is the name of the other robot. If there's too much distance between them, Little Faye will automatically start routing and fly to Big Ben's location. Uh, that's all, I suppose. I tried to find clues myself, but I don't know where to start. This job needs real professionals. Mm-hmm. Cool, we've got this. Don't worry, bro. We promise we'll find your robots. Hey, how can you be so sure? Trust me, Zila. Don't worry, Cassidy. Wildfire's on the case. You just rest up here and don't let this ruin your day. What was that all about? You're 100% certain we're gonna find those robots for him? Slow down, Zila. Listen to my analysis first. It's a big job to steal two robots without anyone noticing, especially when one of them has an alarm. I'm guessing that our thief friend never even took little Faye. You mean... I think the thief knew that little Faye had an alarm, so they decided to break it. But they also knew that Cassidy could fix Little Fay and use its tracker function to find Big Ben. The thief must have tossed the broken drone somewhere and only made off with Big Ben. Hey, why are you both looking at me like that? Say something. <laughs> so, you agree with my reasoning, right? So... You do have a brain somewhere in all that muscle. <laughs> I'm not just biceps and steel, you know. Well, if you all agree with what I said, let's go prove it. Missing drones are a bit of a regular occurrence down here. Come on, move those legs. Luca, do you often find stuff for other people? Seems like it. Kids always come to me when they lose stuff. <laughs> no wonder. Man, this area is so run down. I wouldn't want to live here. The people living here don't want to either. They've got no other choice. We can change that, right? <sighs> yeah. Oh, look! There's a drone over there! But how can we tell if it's the one Cassidy lost? Here, look. Someone deliberately scratched off the paintwork. Didn't even do a good job of it. Oh, you're right. You've got a good eye, Zila. Whoever did it must have been in a hurry. We need to fix this little guy up. Can you lend a hand? again. Beep, bing. Little Faye, reinitialization complete. <laughs> we really found it. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Scanning for signal from Big Ben. Oh, listen. That must be the tracking system Cassidy mentioned. Signal not found. Big Ben is currently too far away from this unit. Tracking function must be enabled. It really does have a tracking function. Let's see how useful it is. Hey! 
It's flying away! Follow it! Look! That fellow over there is acting pretty shifty. Hey, friend! What? Who's there? A red ribbon? What? Wildfire? Ha! Huh. Uh, how did you... I'm doing just fine! <laughs> No monsters around here. Why don't you, uh, go bother someone else? <laughs> Shying away from honest work, indulging in petty crime. Of course you're doing just fine. Uh, I'm not sure this falls under petty crimes, Zila. I have the whole robot bodies got next to him. Yeah, it's Big Ben, all right. I, oh, oh, hold on a second. Who told you the name of this robot? Don't tell me it's... That's right, Cassidy sent us here. Hand over what you stole or be prepared to face the fist of a champion. F -f -f fist of a champion, huh? <sighs> I've come this far. I won't be able to show my face around here if news gets out. Do your worst. Big Ben, let's get him. Going all the way, huh? Enough talk, then. Luca, let's get him. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Here, let me punch some sense into you. <laughs> Spare me! Please, all of you! I, I shouldn't have stolen anything, I, I admit! Give me a second chance. Ah, <laughs> you're admitting defeat? What happened to all that bravado you had a few moments ago? The Multamerville Warrior. The peerless Boulder Champion. Upholding justice and peace once again. Nice. Our thieving friend surrendered, and Big Ben looks to be in one piece. The first step of the champion's training is complete. Huh? Why are you two so straight-faced? Can't you look a little happy? What was that supposed to be? The Multamberville Warrior? <laughs> no, that. Nothing, just a slogan. Don't take it too seriously. Let's get Big Ben back to Cassidy. <sighs> Fine. Let's finish up here. But I'm gonna put it out there. We're not gonna forget those lines of yours anytime soon. Beep boop. Big Ben misses home. Big Ben wants to talk with Little Faye. Big Ben wants to play with Cassidy. Go home, go home. Big Ben, oh, you're back. Beep boop, Cassidy. Little Faye, Cassidy. I don't know how I can ever thank you, Luca, Sila, and Mr. Outsider. My life can finally get back on track now. See, I kept my word, right? Wildfire's senior members always deliver what we promise. I've never doubted you, Luca. I'll remember this forever. Right? Time to take little Faye and Big Ben for a systems check. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, go ahead. We'll catch up later. Ah, oh, that felt great. Such a wholesome feeling to help other people, don't you think? To be honest, I think you could have handled it yourself. You said this was the first step, right? So just how many steps does your training have exactly? Three, just three steps. Trust me, it won't take too much of your time. <laughs> I like your spirit. 
Shame I didn't run into you sooner. Let's go! Next, we're gonna clear up all the Fragmentum cronies still left in the settlement. Huh? Fragmentum? But the settlement... Wasn't affected by Fragmentum, right? You're not wrong. The fissure here only recently opened up. Master Oleg got the intel from our network just yesterday. I asked him to leave this case to me. Perfect for the second step of our training, right? Ugh, like master, like student. I admire your attitude. In any case, if this concerns the Fragmentum, then there's no time to lose. Where are the monsters? Lead the way! Way ahead of you! Follow me! Luca, come clean with me. Are you here for some other reason? It's just training, for real. It's not like you to be so suspicious, Zila. You sell your beef with Svarog. Tell me the juicy details. Ugh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. There's so many of them. Are you sure the fissure only recently opened up? Our intel should have been accurate. Seems like boss Svarog must have let his guard down. These guys are messing up his turf. Enough talk. Let's clean up this area. Ah, oh, no wonder these minions are so active. There's a big fella hiding behind them. So this guy is the source of it all, right? If we take him out, the Fragmentum activity in this area should subside for a while. And Trial 2 will be complete. <laughs> that's right. What's up? Starting to get into it, Zila? <sighs> it's been too long since I had a good workout. This will be a nice warm-up. All right. We'll charge in once you're ready. It's nearly there! It's not gonna last much longer. <laughs> I'll deal the final blow. I'll see you off. Woo, <laughs> that was a tough one. Good teamwork, guys. Luca, is that everything? The Multamerville Warrior. The peerless Boulder Champion! Defeater of evil throughout the world! You... Are you okay? Ugh, don't copy him! Seriously, why are you so hyped up today? <laughs> it's just a normal victory celebration. I don't need to be so alarmed. You call that normal? I might have let it slide if it was in the cage. On second thought, no. That was cringe even by Fight Club standards. Ah, don't get so worked up, Zila. I'm thinking clearly. Plus, didn't we just get rid of another major threat to the underworld? True, but quit changing the subject. This new routine of yours is just... Ugh. Ah, uh, don't worry. I promise you, it'll only last till the end of my training. Actually, have I been making too many promises today? 
That's not a good habit. Anyway, there's only one more step in my training plan. Come on, guys, help me wrap it up. <sighs> I guess we're in too deep. Better let it run its course. So tell us, what else is on the schedule? The final step in this training is to challenge Boss Svalrog! Are you sure you're thinking clearly? Whoa, whoa, stay cool, Zila. Like I said, I'm thinking clearly. Every word I said is serious. I set this as the final goal of my training a few days ago. Think about it. Is there any underworld opponent worth challenging more than Boss Sparog? Oh no, I can't agree to this. You're asking for trouble. Forget about winning or losing. The relationship between Wildfire and Sparog only just got patched up. I'm not gonna rile him up. Don't make this more complicated than it is. I'm just inviting him to have a fair fight with me, like how you'd have in the cage. Are you mad? Svarog is a robot. He doesn't understand the rules of the cage. He's different from us. His fists are made of steel. Ah, that means we're evenly matched, right? <sighs> you know what I mean. Don't act smart with me. <sighs> you don't make any sense. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Zila. But you know, I'm a fighter. It's my duty to keep training and get stronger. It's a terrible feeling to have a powerful opponent in your head, but never be able to get close to him. It's all thanks to your patching things up with Svarog that I'm able to have this opportunity now. I'm not gonna miss it for the world. <sighs> all right, fine. We'll go find Svarog and have a nice chat with him. Let me say this first. If he doesn't want to deal with you as a challenger, then we're getting out of there ASAP. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll convince him. But you're right. If he's not in the mood for it, then I won't force him. I haven't really worked with Boss Svalrog before, so please, lead the way. Let's go. Luca, you... Hmm? What's up? <sighs> Never mind. I get the feeling I'm wasting my breath. Strike first! Have you talked to Oleg about going to see Svarog? <laughs> That's all you want to ask? I don't necessarily tell Master Oleg everything, you know. <sighs> the Trailblazer, Zilla of Wildfire, and... Hey! In honor to meet you, Boss Farag, I'm Luca, a senior member of Wildfire, just like Zilla. Accessing backend database. Querying. Query complete. Luca, born in Maltamerville, winner of the 28 Bouldertown Fight King Challenge, beloved student of Oleg, acting chief of Wildfire. Oh, wow, impressive! <laughs> Thank you for saving me the self introduction. Luca of Wildfire, what is the purpose of your visit? Straight to the point, just the way I like it. I'm here to challenge you, Boss Svarog. Challenge. Intent unclear. Outsider, Zila of Wildfire, can you provide an explanation? Mm, don't look at me. He's the one who came up with this idea. It's up to you to accept it or not, Svarog. Yep, it's not that complicated. I just want to go a few rounds with the one everyone agrees is the most powerful in the underworld and see where I stand. What do you say? Are you interested? Hmm. Evaluating. Intention. Unclear. Enmity level. Zero. Lie detection. Passed. 
Evaluation completed. The opposing party only came to spar. I agree to fight you, Luca of Wildfire. Uh huh? Hold on. You agree? If weapons and gun barrels are unused for prolonged periods of time, the risk of rust damages increases. Periodic use will reduce such risk and extend the life of these components. <laughs> what? That's the worst excuse I've ever heard. <laughs> See, I told you I could convince him. You could be a referee, Zila. You know the rules of the club, inside out. I... <sighs> Fine, I get it. If you insist... Competitors, take up positions. <sighs> I'm ready, Svalrog. We can start any time. I too have a question, Luca of Wildfire. How did you acquire your mechanical arm? <laughs> I'm honored to be one of the things in the underworld that even you don't know about. This arm? Well, it's not that exciting. It's all because I got distracted in a defense campaign. I can't even remember the date of that fight. More importantly, it was only after losing my arm that I found the meaning of life. What it really feels like to be alive. That's why I'm standing here right now, to feel alive. And also for everyone who put their hope and faith in me. Excellent answer. I will treat this challenge seriously, Luca of Wildfire. In the blue corner, Svarog from the Robot Settlement. Are you ready? Ready. In the red corner, Luca from Multimerville. Are you ready? <laughs> Whenever you are. Okay, this is a no holds barred contest. One round only. Victory will be declared when one contestant submits where the fight is stopped by the referee. All right, fight! Let's see some sparks fly. Burge initiative. <laughs> Executing operation. Just getting started. Step out of it. <laughs> Finally, an opponent that can take the punches head on. A powerful strike, but not enough to break my defenses. That's why they call you Boss Farag. How about this? Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Executing annihilation. Executing operation. <laughs> not bad. Red contestant down! Ten, nine, eight, seven! <sighs> no way! I'm a long way from tapping out. Let's go! Reinforcing. Analysis complete. Transmission initiated. Calculating results. We're talking. Don't get cocky! Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Executing operation! The winner has been decided. Enough, Luca! Let's end it here! No! It's not over! I must... show you... Back in the ring! Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! You make a strong impression, Luca of Wildfire. I will remember this fight. <sighs> Thanks. But it's not over. Luca of Wildfire, it does not matter why you came here. 
I acknowledge your strength. Your performance was enough to make me reevaluate the limits of humanity. <laughs> That's really. the whole day. We were really worried. Don't worry, Zila. Like I said, it was just the exhaustion. Svarog was deliberately holding back. <sighs> Zila... And... Nat? I'm in... the clinic? Where else? You think we'd leave you on Svarog's turf? <laughs> Uh, thank you all. I feel much better now. Sorry, Nat. I must have wasted your time. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Luca. Still, whatever your motivation was, I hope you can find a different outlet for it. Uh, I'm not gonna let you off the hook that easy. There's more to this story. You need to explain what the heck got into you today. on me too. I should have refused him straight away. I had a bad feeling from the start. <laughs> You're always so serious. I've said it before. This is my trip. <laughs> oh, slow down. You haven't completely recovered. Zila, don't pressure him. Let him rest. <sighs> Thanks, Nat. But I'm almost recovered. I have... some things to do. <laughs> uh. Hey, where do you think you're... Let him go, Zila. I really don't get him. What's that supposed to mean? If he never intended to explain anything to us, why did he drag us along? No, this is too weird. I'm gonna follow him and see what he's up to. Of course, you're not too busy these days, right? I'll give you a shout if I need help. Luca didn't used to be like this. I, I just can't let it go. If you must, Zila, try not to worry. I don't want to see you two fighting. Don't worry, Nat. Now that they've left, I have a favor to ask you. It's easy for Luca to get ahead of himself sometimes, but I've never seen him this headstrong. It does make me wonder. Could you ask Oleg how Luca's been recently? I haven't seen much of him lately. It's hard for me to get the full picture. Thank you. Regardless of what's really going on, I hope none of you let small things get in the way of your friendship. See you. <laughs> Where you find people, you find wildfire. Oh? My student? Did something happen recently? I was wondering why he didn't come to see me after the championship match ended. Come, tell me about it. Hmm, that does sound a little strange. Luca usually doesn't push himself so far. Huh, he may be a tough guy on the surface, but he's got his secrets. Did he tell you about the origins of his mechanical arm? 
Ah, then he probably didn't describe the scene in detail. That was six, seven years ago. I was patrolling with some comrades in the neighboring town of Multamerville. We passed an ordinary mechanic's shop. There was a serious looking fella looking after the shop. He was probably a few years younger than me, but his hair and beard were white as snow. There was a young lad doing odd jobs. He looked pretty exhausted. Anyway, I convinced the shopkeeper to let him come with me. Luca was a fast learner. At first, I couldn't figure out if he liked what I was teaching him. Fighting, weapons, strategy, etc. He didn't talk a lot, just kept his head down. Then, about a year after I took him in, Luca lost one of his arms while rescuing townsfolk from the Fragmentum in Multamerville. He almost didn't make it. He was unconscious for two or three days. I sat next to his bed, anxious and guilty. Guess what he said to me after he woke up? Master, I feel great. He had bandages all over his body. Most of his wounds hadn't healed yet, but it was the first time he'd ever smiled at me. I still remember that expression. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I get a little carried away when I tell this story. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is Luca views other people's lives as more important than his own. That's how he's always been. So when he says stuff like, this is for training, that's probably a lie. He's hiding something from you, all right? Anyway, I'm too old to be getting involved in this stuff. I'm sure you and Zila can sort this by yourselves. One thing I will ask, please try not to embarrass him too much, okay? He's the fighting champion of Boulder Town, after all. An idol for all the children. He needs to keep up that image. <laughs> Oh, you're here. Come on. He wasn't in a hurry, so we should be able to catch up easy enough. Hmm. Look, there he is. Let's follow him. Stay quiet. We didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Oh, where is he going? This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Wait, that's... Hook! What's she doing here? Up to no good. Lucas should tell her to go back to town. He's always worrying after the kid's safety. We've come this far. We can't let this kid ruin everything. Shh! She's coming this way! Quiet! You almost exposed us! Um, why are you sneaking around like this? Wow, 
that's so exciting! We're gonna lose him if we don't hurry! Hook, run back to town. Stop hanging around here. Uh, okay. That's what Lucas said, too. I hope you two find the treasure. Whew. Thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. <sighs> Did he Did he put something down? Let's go have a look. A case? I... For some reason, I feel like... <sighs> yeah, I don't have a reason. It's just a feeling. Then again, we followed him for ages. It'll be a waste if we don't see what's inside. I wonder what's in there. Here. Let me open it. Is this a notebook? It looks like a kid's handwriting and some scribbled art. Have a look. <laughs> Mr. Luca. <laughs> Hello. My name is Margie, and I'm from Old Hammerville, too. I'm a big fan of yours. I've been sick since I was a baby, but I still dream of becoming a big star in the cage one day. Just like you. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, but I wanted my dad to give you this notebook. I wanted to tell you that you've inspired me to keep working hard and achieve my goal, even if it's hard to reach. When I become a fighter as awesome as you, I'm gonna do my best to help people in the underworld. I wanna team up with my friends and help everyone together so they can smile again. I'll listen to their thanks and then yell out my winning slogan. <sighs> the most terrible warrior, the peerless Boulder Champion! Upholding justice and peace once again! Then I want to chase away all the bad things hurting everyone. <laughs> I'll go with my friends and clear out all the scary monsters. I'll make the underworld safe and then yell out my other winning slogan. <laughs> the most Hammerville warrior, the peerless Boulder Champion, defeater of evil throughout the world. <sighs> Lastly, I want to make life better for the underworld. 
mom said, there's someone called Spara, who keeps stopping us from going back to the overworld. So I'm gonna challenge that big robot and show him what I can do as a champion fighter. But Sparog is too strong. We'll never win. My friends are gonna all wanna back out when they hear about this. But I know I have to be an example for everyone. <laughs> I need to stick my neck out and go challenge Sparog on my own. Bam! Crap! Boom! <sighs> it's gonna be such an epic fight. And then we'll reach a draw, and neither of us will be able to win. <laughs> but Swarog will acknowledge my strength, and be willing to listen to the Underworlders. So, it'll be a happy ending. My friends will clap, and all the people suffering will be free. But... All that is just my dream. I don't know how long it's gonna be till it becomes reality. I'm lying in bed sick right now. But as long as Mr. Luca is around, I won't be scared. I remember everything you said to encourage me. Before becoming a champion, I want to defeat this illness first. Then I need to learn how to stand walk, and exercise again. Until I achieve all my dreams, I hope... Uh, no. I believe... Mr. Luca will support me till the end. Right? Oh. Oh, Luca. I think I get it now. Maybe we should... Forget about all this. What do you say? Hmm. Maybe one day we can talk about it with him. But let's give him some time. Let's head back to town for today. Good night, Margie. If we're not on patrol, we should get some rest. I've always lived in the underworld and never, ever imagined. I, I just can't believe I can look at my home from this angle. Say, our planet really isn't that big, is it? Oh, like how things look big when they get closer? I get that. You've been traveling for so long. Surely you've been to places way bigger than this. Don't laugh. But I used to hide in the storage room in my dad's workshop and go through old picture books. They were full of places I'd never seen before. Oceans, forests. I heard Yalo, <laughs> uh, I mean Yarillo, right? I heard Yarillo 6 didn't used to be all snowy like this. And it had all sorts of landscapes and natural environments. They are totally magical to me. I'd never have imagined it myself. Maybe it's too unrealistic to wish it'd go back to the way it was, but it's good to have a dream, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. I want to see some places with a little more get up and go, you know? Still, those places wouldn't be home. <laughs> Case in point, I've only been here for a while, but I'm already kind of missing the taste of the underworld air. 